Testimony today from a top official in the Cuomo administration about nursing home residents who died from COVID. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois, New York's embattled health commissioner, taking fire from both sides during a hearing with state lawmakers. While Republicans were tough, a Bronx Democrat was even tougher on Dr. Howard Zucker. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. Yes, there were deaths. Too many. Health Commissioner Howard Zucker in the virtual hot seat after a month-long delay that irritated lawmakers. His testimony coming two weeks after a report from the state attorney general alleged the Cuomo administration undercounted deaths of nursing home residents by up to 50 percent by classifying thousands as having died in hospitals, not nursing homes. Republicans couldn't wait to pounce. Commissioner, we were the only state in the nation which counted nursing home deaths in that convoluted way. We now know, not directly from you, but from others in the administration, that that data was deliberately withheld um, for reasons that I would term uh, are shameful. There's a lot of fiction there, and I need to provide the facts, so I will respond in writing, and there was no undercount. Zucker refused to admit any substantial missteps with nursing home data or the controversial March 25th order for nursing homes to readmit residents recovering from COVID. There was 37,000 staff who ended up having COVID, and they brought in inadvertently. The no apologies attitude riled Bronx Democrat Gustavo Rivera. And it's as if though the administration continues every day to just be perfect and do nothing wrong. So since you cannot acknowledge responsibility and are perfect at bobbing and weaving on that issue, I will not visit it any further. After a period of pandemic deference to Team Cuomo, it seems a growing number of lawmakers are ready to reassert the legislature is a co-equal branch of government. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Zucker insisted that New York is doing a phenomenal job with vaccinations, and he says when the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is released, things will further improve.